Good morning students. In the previous videos, we have done properties of addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Now today, in this video, we are talking about properties of multiplication of whole numbers. So now let's begin. Number one, closure property. If A and B are two whole numbers, then A multiplied by B is also a whole number. That means if we multiply two whole numbers, result is also a whole number. Let's see this by one example. 2 multiplied by 3, my result is 6. 2 is a whole number, 3 is a whole number. And on multiplication, we are getting 6, which is also a whole number. That means closure property is true for multiplication of whole numbers. Coming to second property, commutative property. If A and B are two whole numbers, then A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. That means if we interchange the numbers, then also result will be same. Let's see this by one example. 14 multiplied by 5 is same as 5 multiplied by 14. Here I have interchanged the numbers. So 14 fives are 70. 5 into 14 is also 70. So on interchanging the numbers, result is same. This is only called as commutative property. So, commutative property is true for multiplication. Third is associative property. If A, B and C are three whole numbers, then A multiplied by B in bracket multiplied by C is equal to A multiplied by in bracket B multiplied by C. That means here we are changing the place of bracket. Let's see this by one example. 4 multiplied by 5 in a bracket multiplied by 6 is equal to 4 multiplied by in bracket 5 into 6. Here bracket is on first two numbers and here bracket is on last two numbers. Let's see the answers now. Solving this side. 4 fives are 20, 20 multiplied by 6, 120. This side, 5 into 6, 30, 30 multiplied by 4, 120. So we can see here that results are same. So associative property, when we are changing the place of bracket, then also result is same. That means associative property is true for multiplication. Fourth one, multiplicative identity. If A is any whole number, then A multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by A is equals to A. That means whenever we are multiplying a whole number with 1, result is the whole number itself. For example, 4 multiplied by 1 is same as 1 multiplied by 4, answer is 4. So, 1 is called as multiplicative identity element. Coming to next property, property of 0. If A is any whole number, then A multiplied by 0 is same as 0 multiplied by A, result will be 0. That means, if we multiply a whole number with 0, answer will be 0 only. Let's see this by some examples. 14 multiplied by 0 is same as 0 multiplied by 14 and when we multiply it, answer is 0. One more example, 184 multiplied by 0. It is same as 0 multiplied by 184. Result will be 0. So, on multiplying any whole number with 0, answer is 0 only.